are some affordable older rates here. This is a 34 foot, 36 foot 2004 Itasca Sun Cruiser for 21995 I think it's a little bit easier, as you can tell, to find used Class A's. There's a lot of people looking at the Class A's today. And uh, there's some older Class A's here with decent prices on them. Here's a 34 foot 1999 for 17,995. South Wind Storm. And here is a 36 foot 2004 Itasca Sun Cruiser for 21,995. There's people inside of them. I was going to go in the Itasca Sun Cruiser and some guy hijacked it. <laughs> I was heading toward the door and he ran and got in and I was okay, whatever. But yeah, we got some uh, big guys here. I was hoping to find the one that somebody had uh, redone on their own. I thought it would be kind of interesting to see what everybody's opinion would be on it but uh, it may have sold i don't see it or it could be one of the ones that people are inside of here we go takes an experienced driver <laughs> he's backing it up into there i thought he was going to pull it into that space Yeah, I mean, you buy these things brand new, you spend a lot, and you can get some decent uh, prices on the used ones with low mileage because a lot of people don't live in these. A lot of people don't do a lot of traveling. They get these to travel in, and then they realize, you know, life gets in the way. Monaco, that was a very, very nice rig, and it's Day. I, it might still be. I don't know if, 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 if. <laughs> I don't know if they're still in production or not. This is a 42 foot 1998 Monaco signature. I was going to stop doing the older rigs, but I just kind of want to tour this one. Then we'll find something really, really nice, new, and fabulous to look at. This is their signature series, and that is painted. That is nice. That's not decal, that is paint. See the difference? The paints last forever. The decals last three, maybe four years, and they start cracking and peeling and stuff. This is also a diesel pusher. Nice little window awnings for each window. In fact, I have a chance to get some window awnings. I should grab them because that would sure be handy on my little Class C. With backup camera with those scare lights up there, that's pretty good. Cummins intercooled turbo diesel. No ladder to get to the roof. So you would have to have some sort of ladder probably has a fiberglass roof which may not require as much maintenance Whew. big big storage base on this Let's see if I can open it no it's locked which is probably just as well because it's pretty close to that slide I was going to be very careful with it, but it's locked. 
diesel fuel only. I can still see through the decal. So this is where you would fuel up on the passenger side of the rig. Interesting. Okay, let's see if this one is open. Keyless entry system. Mine just went out on my car. What that's all about. Yay, it's open. Electric step. Eh, the wind wants to close the door. No, don't close it on me as I'm entering. Don't hurt me. One. Two. Ah. I'm stuck. <laughs> My backpack is stuck. Three, four, five steps in. It's a very used RV. Wow, look at the size of that chair though. Whew, very comfy. Very, very comfy. Of course, fortunately the driver's chair isn't as wide because that could be a problem driving. You might get a little fatigue there. Leather, real leather control panel which is taking a little bit of a beating from time to time but this is an older rig oh there we go let's turn this light on instrument panel the backup camera it's a black and white monitor you could always upgrade that And some more controls here. Cabinets above. Only thing you have to be careful is remember there's steps down there if you're getting anything out of these cabinets. You might take a little tumble. So there's some cabinets above the cockpit old old tube type tv <laughs> that's easy to upgrade the sofa needs recovered old type of wall sconces actually i like the glass globe is that glass yes it is very nice interesting Mirror. That's pretty. There's the same mirror on that wall over there too in the kitchen. It's kind of different. Okay, this one has a desk. I like that. And they put the chair behind the passenger seat. Of course, this is an older rig. The carpet needs to be either shampooed or taken out. Another comfortable chair here. Lots and lots of seating in this rig. I personally don't want to drive anything this big, but this is nice. This is nice. Ceramic tile flooring. And of course the dinette area seating for two. You put a third person on this end with uh, the uh, desk chair. That's a cool print. I like that. I ain't lying. I like that. There we go. Some panels, some control panels there. Cabinets above everything. They're not real deep. So for larger items, you'll have to figure that out. Decent kitchen. Oh, wait, okay. Okay, here's your cooktop. It, um, what is that called? <laughs> Induction, induction cooktop one. Two burner. I just bought an induction standalone cooktop thing. Because I was using really cheap, cheap electric cooktops. One of them wants to cook too high, the other one, yeah. So I've 
I'll give it a try. I have pans that will work with it. Microwave convection oven. I don't usually open these, but I'll open that one. Because most people, I don't know why, they keep such nasty ovens, microwaves. But that one's decent. And uh, that's one of my pet peeves. I can't stand a dirty microwave. Of course, the uh, double sink here. This stuff is so heavy. That one's very shallow. I don't know what that surface is. I'm not familiar with my stones, but it is definitely a stone surface. I bet this rig has some weight to it. Is there a spec sheet? Yes, here's the spec sheet. Or the uh, info sheet on it. 63,579 miles. Diesel pusher, of course, so this thing's barely broken in. <laughs> refrigerator with an, a gas absorption refrigerator with an ice maker. At least the tile floor, if the ice falls on the floor, it's not going to do much damage. Oh, okay, there's a pin up there. That's a decent. That's bigger than a small Class C refrigerator. I don't know if I'll be able to get that pin back in. Let's see if I can find the top here. Uh, get that second hole there. I'm going to put it back the way I found it, but... Um, it's not going to work that way. Oh, well, I'll just let it kind of hang out over the side here. Oh, maybe if I can find the hole for it. Oh, where'd it go? There we go. I'll just leave it hang over the side so it doesn't get lost. More control panels up here. Charge controller. So this has solar. Very nice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is very, very nice. Wow. Okay, this should have a combo washer dryer in it because usually the louvered doors are for such things. Yep. And of course, cabinetry above for your soaps and such or whatever you want to put in there. Ah, ha, this is one thing. That you gotta pay attention to. See that? That's a roof leak. That's a water leak. That's not good. Too bad. This is a beautiful coach. Holy moly. <laughs> Look at the size of the closet. So I would get that roof addressed immediately. You might even be able to get a, a good deal on this coach. Wow. It has a bathtub in the shower. Let's check out the lavatory. Somebody left the toilet seat up. I don't like that. They kind of like the little safari thing here. Fantastic fan in the bathroom. Those mirrors, they're different. And I like a window in the bathroom. A lot of them don't do that. I just kind of like the circulation. But man, that, uh, yeah, that cloth ceiling is not good. Wow. <laughs> this bathroom is something. Holy cow. This is very nice. That nice spacious sink. Storage. Two towel racks. 
Let's swing around here. Check out this massive closet system. Wonder if that's a safe. Yep. Some drawers there. Place to hang. Here we go. We want to look at this. Light in the closet. Okay, let's slide this door. Huge, massive glass window. Wow, it's a massive closet door here. Okay, more hanging area here and another uh, like a little chest of drawers here. You have drawers underneath the closet as well. Let's go look at the bedroom. See bedroom. Since this is a diesel busher, busher, since this is a diesel pusher, the uh, engine and stuff would be under the bed area. And I'm not going to attempt to lift it. So here is the bedroom. Another cabinet here. Okay, shelves. Another old TV. <laughs> Which is no big deal. You can always switch those out if you don't want that old TV. Check that out. Lots and lots of mirrors with etched glass. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And cabinets the whole way around the bedroom. Again, the only deep ones are the ones above the bed. These are more on the shallow side. But, uh, you know, if you're complaining for storage, you have too much stuff. <laughs> and the bed nightstands with even more storage on each side of the bed. That is something. That is something. And this is opposite the bed. Another mirror. I think they used to make things larger and brighter by using mirrors. Yeah. Okay, so this is an older style Monaco. Very, very nice rig. Very nice rig in its day. I wonder, I think they must have put those mirrors in themselves. And there's a, I don't know what that's about. There's also a drip going down this wall. So there's a leak over here as well. It's one thing to look out for. Yeah, look at the ceiling. Uh, what a shame. Oh wow, this ceiling is really, really super stained. Water stains. Lots and lots of water damage. The roofs have to be maintained, folks. They do, they absolutely do. And of course it has ducted air with speakers throughout, stereo system. And yeah, that's part of the AC system. So that concludes the tour for the 42 foot 1998 Monaco Signature for $39,995. I'm trapped. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> the store won't open. There we go. I was trying to open the screen door. I was about to yell at those people to help me. 